Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. I have a lot of leftover lithium ion batteries from my last video. Kind of a bit of a tongue twister there. But anyway, I was reading the back of the batteries and it says all the stuff you're not supposed to do with it. Like, for example, do not shoot with a giant 30 watt fiber laser in a pure oxygen environment. I promise you it does say that right there. Anyway, I thought it would be a fun idea to try all the things that it says not to do on the back of the battery. So let's get started. So this is the battery we're gonna take apart. It has one, two, three, four, four cells. I'm gonna to try to separate the cells so we can do four separate experiments. Well, let's start taking this apart and it shouldn't be surgery to take one of these apart, right? Just a fair warning, there is just probably gonna be a bunch of messing around in this video. So maybe we should take the time to learn about this battery. Cause I'm actually curious what it looks like on the inside. Cause I've only ever seen the inside after they've caught on fire. Gotta do an operation right here. Operation don't. It's like trying to defuse a bomb. Can I say that? No. Anyway, I cut open the lithium ion battery with a pair of scissors and it looks like it's some kind of folded construction. Let's see what's going on here. What is this? This would be the positive side because the yeah, it's red. And then on the other half, now it's this, which is connected to the negative electrode. And in between these is the organic solvent that holds the electrolyte between them to let the electricity flow between the two plates. So this is the negative electrode right here, and it is actually a piece of copper with carbon on top of it. And you can see it changing colors in the atmosphere from the oxygen, and that's probably because, I don't know, there might actually be some lithium metal in there, even though there shouldn't be. I don't know, that doesn't make sense. No. Whoa! Ah! Oops. Well, I think we've uh, learned enough about the battery. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, so we found out why you shouldn't disassemble a lithium battery. Now let's see what happens when you overcharge the lithium battery using a Tesla coil. And this is a Tesla coil I made. It's called a vacuum tube Tesla coil. It's actually really simple to make. And the coolest thing about it is it's super quiet and you can touch the sparks. Let me show you. Whoa. Ah, I have the power. All right, so for this one, we're gonna take this lithium battery and tape it to the end of this stick here, and then see if we can uh, charge it using the Tesla coil. All right, guys, here we go. I don't know if you can see, but there is some red flames from the lithium. That's pretty. scorched a hole in the battery, but it didn't make it catch on fire. Look at this right there. The Tesla coil melted the casing of the battery and it didn't short out the battery. It just, this battery still might even have some juice in it. Wow, okay. Look oh. at that. Well, what happened? Oh, it welted the scissors. Okay, <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to. Spooky smoke. Don't breathe this. How about we charge it with the battery instead? Uh, sorry guys, I had to take a little break and go in and get a jacket because it is getting a little bit chilly. It's down to 67 degrees now. And also because hopefully this jacket provides a little bit of uh, flying debris protection. Now the packaging to this lithium ion battery tells you do not charge it at more than one amp charging rate. Now this battery can put out over 900 amps of starting power. So we should uh, instantly charge this three volt cell to 12 volts in a matter of seconds, and that will be fun. Let's see how this works. All right. <laughs> you look nervous. Uh, okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It's not doing anything. Oh, yes it is. Oh, yes it is. Whoa! Click it. Moving on, I want to show you something that I've been working on. It's just a prototype. This is my laser cannon, and it's basically a 30 watt fiber laser attached to a telescope, and this thing can burn stuff from like 200 feet away. 
The thing about this laser is it operates in the infrared range of light, 975 nanometers, which means that you can't see it with your eyes. And that makes it particularly dangerous because if you don't know if it's gonna be reflecting off of something and hitting you in the eye. So definitely have to wear these special laser goggles which block infrared light. This is the device that I'm using. It is a 30 watt fiber laser that was a part of a 10,000 watt system yeah. used for cutting metals. Some guy was just parting them out and selling them on eBay. Anyway, the crazy thing is this thing is no bigger than a penny. And especially the end of this optical fiber, it is just so small and to have that amount of light and heat coming out of it is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, for this experiment, we have our lithium battery stapled to a piece of wood. Uh, I made sure that it didn't puncture the battery or else it would be on fire right now. And we are going to be adding pure oxygen to the fish tank. All right, everything's set up, uh, safety goggles on. I have the GoPro app right here set up so we can hopefully live stream the camera and now we should be able to focus and view the laser using this. Let's try it. All right, so you can see right there that the laser is pretty much on target now. Now I just need to focus it. All right, so right now the laser is at full power. It's at nine amps, uh, five volts. This thing is probably putting out about 30 watts of power. So as soon as I move the mirror away, we should have ignition. Let's see, three, two, one. Oh, it's on fire, all right. There we go. Oh boy. Wow, that worked way better than I thought it would. It almost caught on fire instantly. Let's go check it out. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was just a bunch of goofing around and having fun instead of something crazy, but yeah, it was a fun video. Hope you liked it. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.